have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now. Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Culture. They're praying to God and receiving from Him be your first assignment as you wake up daily. Listen to what God has to say. Take whatever prophetic action we may ask to take for the day. Pray more on your own. Then read the daily devotional prayer booklet, also authored by me. Read the Bible study for the day. Pray the prayer for the day. And take the prophetic action for the day. How to read the entire Bible through in one year is there. Using the booklet will help you to know the word of God more and also enhance one's spiritual life. Daily devotional prayer booklet is available both in hard and soft copies. TPGF members all over the world subscribe for it online with a token. You can do a one-year subscription or monthly subscription with a token. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so immediately now, not to forget. Use daily devotional prayer guide to build up your spiritual life. Welcome also to Thursday, day 14 in December. Mm. Christmas is 11 days, and crossover night, December 31, is 17 days away. Within these 11 and 17 days, your rain of mercies and showers of blessings shall fall. Please open your hand and your heart for today's blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. It took God only six days to create the whole heaven and the earth and all that we have in there. So, 11 and 17 days, too much. I prophesy, God will visit you in the most wonderful way these remaining days of the year. God will raise people for you, for connection and for patronage. You will rise beyond where you are. Your life will not help lack help. Now, in business, in career, in ministry, in all other areas of your concern, help will be available for you. You will not be left stranded. This is end of the year season. Christmas is approaching. Open your hand once more time. God Almighty will give you special Christmas gift beyond your wildest imagination. It will put you in the mind of good people, your boss, husband, wife, uncle, parents, children, friends, clients, neighbors, old schoolmates, people you know, even people you don't know, they will bless you massively. The kind of gift, connection, patronage, help and support you have never received before shall come this season. I ask you to write names of at least seven people you know and send money or patronize you. Wrap in the mantle for seven days, be prophesying to it. Have you done so? God will touch their heart in your favor. If you have not already done so, do so today. I see millionaires rising from TPGF platform. I see multi-millionaires. Suddenly, things will change. Help will come. Says will come. No one will end this year in sickness. So, lay hands where you have pain. If you have pain in any part of your body. Whatever the sickness may be, let me pray. I prophesy healings. Receive your supernatural healings. Be healed. I say be healed in Jesus' name. Take the blessed water. Drink a bit of it. Anoint the place of pain. Tie your mind to there. Start doing what you couldn't do before. I declare again, you are healed. All listeners, you will end this year strong and you will end this year well. In Jesus' name. December 14th, celebrant your prayers. Be blessed and be specially blessed. You will live long and live well in prosperity and in power. You will fulfill your days in Jesus' name. Now to our insightful teachings through question and answers method. First issue today. Good morning, Daddy. I like prayer. I even want to become a prayer warrior. But I don't know how to pray. How can I do it, sir? Wow, I like this question. Someone is eager to know about prayer. In Luke chapter 11 verse 1, Jesus' disciples asked the same question. 
they went to the Lord and they said, Master, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. You see, prayer is an art. I read a book by Kenneth E. Hagin of Blessed Memory, titled The Art of Prayer. Please, look for that book. It should be online also. Prayer is dialoguing with God, never a monologue. Prayer is highly spiritual. Prayer is using God's word to communicate back to God with the intention of hearing from Him. Here on this platform, I always say Google on whatever prayer subject or issues. Bring out all the relevant Bible verses, many, many of them, together, and begin to use them to pray, chanting prayers, then engage them. Any prayer to God without the Word of God content is prayer effort in futility. It's not prayer at all. That's one of the reasons many who claim to be praying have no result to show for their prayers. They are just going through religious emotion. He said in Isaiah 45 verse 11, concerning the work of my word, command ye me. Prayer is like a lawyer, a barrister, before a judge in a court, arguing or pleading his client's case, citing the relevant clauses of the constitution or the bylaws. That's exactly what prayer is and how to pray. Praying God's word back to God on issues of concern. Please start with praying with our daily devotional prayer booklet that I daily hype here. Subscribe for it online. Send a chat to Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Ask how to subscribe. Subscribe to it daily and start from there. You will see a terrific change over your prayer life. Next, good day, sir. Please, how do I calculate my business tithes? Wow, tight again. Question on tight comes in daily. And we keep explaining. For business tight, it is 10% of the net profit. Net profit is growth plus profit minus the overhead cost of running the business for a month. Deduct the running cost from gross profit. What you have left is net profit. Give 10% of it to God in a fertile soil as tight over the business. The business will boom. The business will grow. Devourers will be shielded away. All businessmen and women connected to this outfit in whatever platform your network, your business, put it on tight. You will see exponential growth after a while. Next. Good morning, Daddy. I am TP and my TPGF. I have been married for just 10 years and my husband's manhood has stopped working since two years now. And you just condemned the use of vibrator. He is 30 years older than me. I am still very young, sir. What should I do? We have tried all medications to no avail. Wow. Ah, my God. This is one of the reasons I advise against too wide a gap in two people getting married. 30 years gap. Married 10 years ago. How old is your husband and how old are you? You did not even remember to tell us whether you have children for each other. It is a fact that most men begin to experience reduced libido when they get to a certain age of life. At over 60, some will suffer either weak erection, poor ejaculation, or no erection at all in place. It differs from men to men. Well, I condemn vibrator on the question you refer to, because that was not as a result of husband's impotence or senility. It was uh, purely for pleasure and for fun. Now, talk to me again on this subject. Let me have details, especially your husband's age, and if there be any medical condition. Let me repeat. 30 years gap between a young lady and, and a man to be married is too wide. Listeners, please send your advice, your counsel, and your contributions. Do so within 24 hours. I want to know more from you. Next, 
Good morning, sir. May God always be with you, sir. Today, being 13th December, you forgot to pray for us, sir. More grace and more strength. Wow. Ah. You see, the pressure of the ongoing World Lifting Conference and Shiloh. So, all December 13th celebrants, open your hand and let me pray. May God bless you and bless your new age and bless your life. You will live long and live well in Jesus' name. Yes, better late than never. Happy birthday. Next, warm men's greetings, Pastor. My question. One, when you have a husband who is an adversary to you, what do you do? Number two, does spell and manipulation work on a believer? Number three, how do one break out from the adversaries? Wow, husband and wife ought to be each other's friends, confident, help me, and life partners. But because of ignorance, most people marry the man they ought not to marry. They marry their adversaries, as you have called it here, not their friends. On this platform, we have taught again and again for the singles and the young how to avoid that kind of pitfall. If you are falling into it already, as long as the man is not violent, no abusive, is not threatening your life, then be patient. Engaging the warfare prayers and also be a good wife to him, hoping that we change. For spell and manipulation over a believer, the answer is yes and no. Yes, if the so-called believer is not a serious person, is not genuinely born again, or play around with sin, then he has made himself or herself vulnerable. But no, if truly genuinely born again, hot, no sin permitted, and connected to the right anointing for spiritual cover. Every believer needs a spiritual cover. An anointing strong enough to be a spiritual cover. We will do more from tomorrow. Please rebroadcast this to all on your contact. Do so for TPGF and for God on a daily basis. Let God use you to bring more people to TPGF family. Today is the D-Day, special 30th anniversary prayer mountain service to be observed in all our centers. It shall be one single service today from 8 a.m. to about 10.30, 11 a.m. Focus is on covenant of beauty. How to prepare, wear a fine dress today, either new or clean, as point of contact for beauty impartation. TPGF members in Lagos and its environment, we will all gather at Allen Avenue, Goshen Land, Ikeja today. Anointed mantle shall be given out uh, for prayer and doing miracle. Same two service, same single service we hold at Dominion City, Ibadan, Kolobo Abel Kota, Oshogbo Akure, Port Accord, and Uyo. All TPGF members in these cities locate our centers and be there. Numbers to call for more information is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Now, tomorrow, Pastor David B. Omir will be on Dominion City, all in Ibadan City. Don't miss any of the sessions. Pay your tithe, sow your seed. I pray for you. Each time we receive the alert of your tithe and your seed, I speak to everyone's life today, you will rise higher. This end of the year is for you. This is your season. You will not lose it. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.